music is blaring a bit loudly in mine ears. Lower that down to like a five. As we welcome this morning's early attendees. Good morning, Clint. Good morning, Hagons. Hello, hello. Great to see you guys. I took a few extra moments to advertise this video just about everywhere that I could. I recently joined some groups. Don't have anything to do with HeroQuest, but perhaps, perhaps some more blood on the channel. I joined a Warhammer Quest group members of which, some of which might be interested in watching my Warhammer Wednesdays. And I had a fantastic idea. Uh, I got plenty of plans for Hero Quest. One of which is... Oh, music's still loud. How's that? Is that better? Hoping that's better. <clears throat> Thank you guys for letting me know. It's always something. But uh, with you guys' help, we get better. Good morning, Ward Icon. Cheers. Uh, all I have is water left, but cheers. All the same. Good morning, Matt McNett. And good morning, Elviler. It's awesome of you guys to drop in. We're going to be... As the title suggests, working our way through quest six of the uh, horrible aftermath of getting trapped into a room full of poisonous gas. Masterfully done quest design, in my opinion. It made me feel things. It made me react. And that, at the end of the day, is what that's all about. I had so many comments on that video afterwards that were like, no, that's how the quest is supposed to play out. <laughs> like, no, nah, it, it got me. It got me. It did get me. I could tell people were really worried I was going to, like, restart. <laughs> I would have been so upset if I did restart. Because the same thing would have just happened. And I would have been, like, punching walls. But it's all good. <clears throat> I um, am I'm, I'm making more decisions on both my campaign as well as the upcoming hero quest jam it's all working out i'm taking some cues from a couple of other games i am relaxing in the bliss that is uh it's not quite complete but we're we're working right along i actually sent squidge monster the link to the jam page where all of the details are and he thought it looked good. So that's great feedback. I got to send it to Giles uh, and get his feedback. Those are the two that I would entrust to be judges. I don't know if, if they'll still be interested by the time it's time for the jam. But those are the two that I would definitely trust to be judges for this upcoming event. And then, no other details on that for now. For my campaign, I believe I want to make it to where you may need to have additional components and you can proxy whatever you want from the other expansions, classic expansions, but you are totally still able to bring in a brand new group of heroes. So now I've separated the level, the difficulty level of the campaign that I'm designing from the accessibility of building the campaign and I'm pretty happy with that. It's like this this is definitely for those who are veterans at being able to play. But you could still bring a new party in if you wanted to start fresh. Either way. No more no more details on that unless I'm asked questions. I'm happy to answer any questions, but I don't want to sit here and blab about my own stuff. Oh, I also had the fantastic idea. I'm going to start doing shorts on singular videos. Uh singular video shorts on singular heroes homebrew heroes 
So I'll give you the details of a hero that I have made the stats for and created the abilities for, as well as any restrictions they might have. And then yes, I'd be very interested to know, is anybody's video off from the audio? Nothing is different on my end. But if you click the link in a Discord, you might have the, uh, you might have to close the embed in the Discord and go to the link itself, just in case you did use a Discord link. That's a known issue. That's a Discord thing. I, I can't help it. <clears throat> I'll wait just another minute and then we'll get started. I misspelled return. It's an expert gamer move right there. Very professional. <clears throat> Rear turn. The Witch Lord Rear turns. think that might do it. It's still doing it? Oh no. Let me, let me preview. Let me preview this on my end. I don't want to, I don't want everybody to have synchronization issues. Testing. Really weird. It is a it is a little bit off. Oh man, it is a little bit off. Oh, that's really annoying. Oh, that's really annoying. Hold, hold on, hold on. How to sync audio during stream obs. Oh man, I don't want to do that. Oh, maybe I can. Settings output audio delay. Uh, it's our, there's already a delay. Wonder if it's doing it on Twitch too. Actually, let me do a transition real quick. Transition! Mainstream. Is that better? Testing. Testing on Twitch. Testing on Twitch. Oh, nope. It's still, it's still. Ah, uh, uh. hold on. I gotta, I gotta do a, I do have to do a, just a slight, slight delay for the audio lag. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Also, hello, Michael. And hello, Moseth. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for dropping in. Uh, test, 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 test. Advanced audio properties.
and hotkeys. Weird. Not quite... Not cool. Not cool. I don't, uh... I don't, I don't, I don't want it to be that way. I, I get that it's close enough, but I'm very unhappy with that. <sighs> See if I can pick up where I leave off if I happen to restart it, maybe? Hold on, guys. All right, Clint, good luck. It's going to be uh that's going to be quite a quite a long corridor there. <laughs> but you can do it. Replay buffer. BBR, bitrate, max bitrate. Turn that down. Turn that bitrate down a little bit maybe. Just do that. High quality, single pass, high. Look ahead, audio, tracks. Literally just tracks, replay buffer. I got nothing. I got nothing. It'd be awesome if it fixed itself, though. It would be really, really cool if it fixed itself. So, onward, onward, brave heroes. There we go. Alright, I don't know if that's going to help anything, but it's time to get this music out of you guys' ears and load the game. Get some different music in your ears. the song too. Oh yeah, there's nothing I can do now. Okay, all right, here we go. Quest six, let us begin. We have dallied long enough. I believe we need to buy. Oh, we have, we have nothing. We have no, we are not allowed to go to the store. <sighs> Quest six, Halls of the Dead. The wizard and dwarf wake up in a prison cell. Shaking off the effects of the poisonous gas, they hear a mentor's voice deep within themselves. A terrible fate has befallen you. You have become prisoners of the Witch Lord. Your companions, the Elf and Barbarian, have been taken to a secret place where the Witch Lord plans to feed them to his pets. You must rescue your companions and escape to the Spiral Staircase. Stab George and Happy Sneezy are not about to put up with this. And Pickle, son of Pickle, is also here. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. After awakening in your prison cell, Mentor casts a spell to open your cell door. All of your equipment is restored to you, however. I didn't get the, uh... rest of that. Skeleton! I need to see if I have to equip any of this stuff. Dagger. I'm gonna throw the dagger. Oh, no. 
Amadeus Cucumber, brother of Pickle, son of Pickle, threw the dagger and murdered the skeleton in one hit. Excellently done. Spoilers, this quest is mean. I thought the end of the last quest was mean. Traps? No traps. We'll have to end our turn here. Also, welcome to the stream, Bull. ISB. That's a very... Very cute character in your profile picture. I like it. All right, Dwarf, come back. One. What do you have equipped? Helmet, crossbow, uh, actually the spirit blade. Let's equip the nothing. Let's not do anything. End turn. Dwarf here, open door. Walk up and attack with spirit blade. Good enough. Let's get this zombie out of here as well. Attack. Didn't work. In turn. What happened? What was that? Mummy. Go ahead and cast a spell at the mummy. Uh, we're going to walk here to do it. Oh, I can't. I can't see him anymore. Great. Not smart. We could be in trouble. Yes. Very much so. Clank, you didn't get me. For that, you will die. All right, into the room you go, and turn. <clears throat> secret door? There was a secret door in there. Traps? No traps. And turn. Where did I get this game? Uh... So, link is in the description. It's the Lurch Bricks IS, uh, isometric hero quest. Uh, he made more than one. He made a top-down as well as an isometric version. This is the isometric one. Something's going on. The camera wants to go to somewhere else. I don't know what that means. Traps? No traps. <clears throat> Secret doors? Yes. There's the spiral staircase. Secret doors? We continue to find secret doors. Uh, we do we just go? We just leave? No, we've got to, we've got to free our fellow heroes. Let's go, dwarf. I'm coming, I'm coming! Exit and leave the others as food. I wonder if it would let me. It'd be terribly, terribly cruel. I don't, I don't think I could bring myself to do that to Pickle. Interesting. No traps. No reason to not open that door. No secret doors. Loving this so far. Chaos Warrior. One, two, three, four, five. And you can move up to seven. Come on. Bring it. I'm going to switch equipment. I'm going to keep my shield. Once it gets up here, I'm going to switch to a battle axe. Ward Icon on the way to work. To train the newbie, we'll be listening. Excellent. Good luck. You've got to get that new hero geared up. Got to teach him. 
teach him the ways of the hero. And turn clank. Mm. Drawing me out, huh? What if there are other chaos warriors around the corner? Oh, there were skeletons going right back in. I'm not going to put up with that. The skeleton wants to come and try to attack me. That's fine. I'm not putting myself out there to get attacked by three enemies at once. One skeleton down. I'm also quite aware of the wizard having one body point being a dangerous and bad thing. Ward Icon, thank you very much for the donation. Shiba Dog bowing respectfully. <laughs> Excellently done. Thank you, sir. Have a safe day at work. Awesome, have to check it out. Plan on running a marathon of the 89 version of my kids today. I think they're on Quest 8 or so. Oh, wow. Cool kids. Cool dad, too. Very well done. I haven't been able to get my son interested just yet. But we'll get there. I'm sure of it. Wow. We are hurting. Wizard just bonked this guy, and we've taken him out. All right, who needs it more? The dwarf. Let's cast Water of Healing on the dwarf. Dwarf up here. Are there any enemies revealed? There is one skeleton, and there is another skeleton. Let us equip our crossbow. And let us go ahead and attack this skeleton first. Yes, one skeleton down. And turn. Anybody new to the channel? Welcome. I'm Ash. I do mixed gaming. Sometimes I do board games. Sometimes I do video games. Sometimes it's a mixture of the two. Sometimes I do game development on either side. I hope you'll give my content a bit of a checking out. Maybe it is an age thing. Mummy. I can't reach him. We'll end our turn here. Let the mummy come up. Ah, oh, man, come on. Stop scoring hits on me. Wizard first, diagonal attack. Just to get that bad RNG out of the way. Spirit Blade. There goes the mummy. Step into the room. We'll check it for traps in this next turn. No traps. Wizard, check it for secret doors just in case there's one leading into that yellow room. There is not. Where are our friends? We will find them. Rest assured. Then that elf is going to heal the wizard. He's going to need it. Equip the crossbow and fire on the skeleton. Very well done. End turn. Damn you! Everybody hurts. Everybody cries. One. There we go. Neutralize that threat. My daughters and wife were not interested, so for my birthday they asked what I wanted to do, so they played. Now they are hooked and asked to play all the time. That's amazing. It's a big hit at my family's game table, but uh, we're just constantly acquiring other games so often that we don't play it as much as I would like. And so I get a lot further in just open the door because we can. I get a lot further into this than the uh, board game version with family. And turn. 
Oh, thank goodness. Equip the spirit blade. Equip the spirit blade. Kill mummy. Nice. Step into the room. A wizard needs to step in there, actually. Look for traps. No traps. End turn. Dwarf is looking for secret doors. No secret doors. It's okay. We're gonna make our way to this door next. Still can't get your wife to play. Open the door. The only game that my wife has so far has like really not liked is uh, Key to the Kingdom. We tried to play Key to the Kingdom last week. I maybe maybe it was early this week, and she was like, "This is so dumb." <laughs> the cards are. It's all RNG. It's just. It's cleverly, sort of half-baked, cleverly disguised as not being RNG, but it's a very, very RNG game. And the uh, the cards are a bit ambiguously worded with what you need to do to progress whenever you have to draw a card. Yeah, I could buy Skeleton. You will not be missed. No traps. Are there secret doors in the hallway, wizard? Don't do me wrong, there's nothing. Have I ever played Gloomhaven? No. Uh, my brother-in-law has the ex the smaller, cheaper core set. We've not played. We've not attempted to play yet. It'll happen. I'm convinced it'll happen. Don't know when. I will definitely like to own the core game of Gloomhaven myself. Where are my hero friends? More mummies! Ah! Can I see him? Yes. Ball of flame. Get rid of that one. Not that it matters if he succeeds in attack. Okay. Spirit blade. I'm so glad it's my dwarf that has the spirit blade. Oh, and that's it. End turn. Uh, I keep getting worried. Ah! Nope, can't do anything. Uh, I'll cast a spell on the dwarf. I will cast... Oh. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like those. Those don't help with defense. Do you have a defense potion at all? You have a healing potion. I may need it. You have two healing potions, actually. I tell you what. I'm gonna do it. That happens with some games. Played Formula D with family and everyone's role was just so far apart there was no excitement, so everyone thinks the game is dumb. That's when Homebrew steps in and saves the day. I haven't played Formula D, so I'm not sure. It sounds like it's like racing, but with dice rolling. So, oh god. One, two, three, four. He could reach me. I need to move away from him. There we go. Will you stop moving away from me? Finally. Good grief. Search for traps. No traps. Search for secret doors. No secret doors. Uh, walk up to this door and open it. Could be dangerous. Go stand in the corner. And turn. Yo, Ribby! Welcome! Thanks for dropping in! You always bring the excitement. You always bring the yo! Okay, these halls. Risk versus reward racing in a board game form. Nice. Hmm. There's nothing up here blocking my way. We're gonna go ahead and go counterclockwise. We're gonna go counterclock. 
We're going to go clockwise. Chaotically clockwise here. As soon as we can escape this section of the dungeon. It's your job. Will you do your job well? Currently, I see 14 people watching. I, I would like to say hi to all of you. Thank you for dropping in. It means a lot to me that people take their time out of their busy day to check out what I've got going on. Even if they only stop in, decide it's not for them, and then leave. It requires a lot of planning and managing of resources of the car. At first glimpse, it looks easy, but to go fast, you need experience. Well, you gotta go fast. There's no debate there. Gotta go fast. Now I see 15. What's going on? People really want to see Return of the Witch Lord, quest number six. Well, that's fine. Absolutely fine with me. Did I uncover skeletons? Yep. Oh, I uncovered a lot. Behind the door? Really? So, mm, all right, we're going to equip a crossbow. And we're going to do our best to take out these guys before they ever get to us. I don't know if I'll get all four, five. There's the first one down. Arrow fired and hit that first skeleton. And everybody else is like, what? Ah, oh, door for the crossbow. Take him out. Good morning, Vault Nurse. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the outcome. It, this is actually a pretty cruel quest. It would be awesome if I could find my fellow heroes. But so far, we are not doing great. Not doing fantastic. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to equip a dagger. Throw it at the next skeleton. There it goes. Fly true dagger. Oh, second skeleton taken out by the wizard. Nice. I hope that chaos warrior can't cast any spells. I'm going to throw a genie at him. Now that he's on the board, he needs to go. These other guys are getting taken out by arrows. They're not going to make it. I will make sure of that. So, let's go with Wizard first. I'm going to equip his last dagger. Throw it at this skeleton. Oh, he's killed a third skeleton! Yeah with his third dagger throw of the quest. Fly true arrow. Oh, Chaos Warrior lost a hit point, a body point. I'm gonna end that turn. If I do well enough, I might just have my heroes run away and keep their distance and continue to attack the Chaos Warrior with projectiles, at least the dwarf. Nicely done. We'll get that wizard going, get him far away. He could easily die, we don't want that. 16 viewers, that's a world record for me. 16 viewers on my Hero Quest content. Thank you guys. Absolutely awesome of you. Can I see him? Mm, not really, and he can travel seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not going to make it. It's time to face him. We will equip the battle axe. Attack. Oh, I, I, I have to unequip my shield. I got to go through a, a bit of an ordeal here. Battle axe. Attack. He is down for the count. The skeleton's coming up next, though. We're going to equip the spirit blade and then re-equip the shield. You can never be too safe. We're going to end our turn. Let that skeleton come up here and poke us, or try to. Ow! But? Oh, you butt. You lack of butt. Yes! I will call Guinness. Even if it did drop down to 14 after I said that. I caught it. I caught it. That's all that counts. 
it's heating up over here. We're going to end our turn. I think I ended my turn without counterattacking the skeleton. He's gone now. He lost four body points. He completely shattered into a pile of bones and bone chips. We are... We are so beyond done with this dungeon. We are putting the done in dungeon. Can we please... I don't want the wizard to uncover any monsters in that hallway. I just know that that's what's gonna happen. Oh, he dodged a spear trap. He could have died. There's another trap right there. Gravendall Games, thank you so much for the donation. You are amazing. And you should absolutely have access to all of my... Uh... I think they're unlocked by donation, but they are... Shield emoji. A shield badge next to your name, I hope, and then emoji that you can access now as a member. I believe that's how it works. That better be how it works. Uh, take a step back. Just take a step back. And where was that trap again? It was right there at the edge of the red. So, we're gonna have our dwarf walk up to it. Disarm it. And now it's disarmed. Again, I'm not letting my wizard be the one to go around that corner and alert the monsters of our presence. There would be zombies. All right. They're just going to have to come down here. They have movement of what? Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Damn it. He's going to make it. He's going to make it. Uh, oh, thank goodness. Yeah, first thing we're going to do is let the wizard equip the staff. Diagonal attack the zombie. He did fantastically there. We have to kill the zombie. No! Son of a... No! Oh, no! I opened up a space between these two. I hope he attacks the dwarf. Not what I would have done if I was Morkar or Zargon in this case. I would have walked up to the wizard and I would have attacked him with the zombie. We did it. That's the end of this turn. Search for traps in the hallway. There are none. We have one door that I know of. One door that I know of. I'm gonna walk here and turn. <sighs> we recently discovered uh, playing the newest edition of Fantasy Flight's Mansions of Madness that it doesn't come with any sort of resources for the uh, game master to use, to use against us. You have to use a, an app that's available on the Google Play Store. That is absolutely not the way I like going, and it was a bit tedious to play it that way. And for context, uh, me, my wife, my brother and sister-in-law, we all played Mansions of Madness last night. I, I, I don't like the inclusion of apps. It's fine if you're playing solo. Even better would be a set of cards and a dice system so that you can play solo. But like using an app, there's there's a place for it. I just don't prefer it. Anyways, there were three quests that came with the game. You buy the base game of Mansions of Madness, the newest edition, and three quests come with it through the app. That is it. The rest are on there, like quests 4 through 21 or what have you. But like just for the base game, you had to purchase the quests. They were $5 a piece. $5 a piece for quest scenarios. Mind-boggling. Mind-boggling. So, uh, we're going to work on trying to get the rest of those quests unlocked so we can play them, I would think, over time. But the, uh, the rest of the 21 scenarios that are included on the app require the expansions. So then it's like, you got to spend money on the base game. You got to spend money on the expansions. Then you've got to buy the quests, regardless of whether or not you spent all this money on the base game and expansions. It's so... Uh, I don't know what the word is. Vampiric? 
I really enjoy Mansions of Madness. I've, I played an older version and I like the systems it has. It's a bit tough to start getting into, but disarm that trap, please. We have just a couple of places left to go, but we're going to go here into the hallway. Board game microtransactions. Exactly. Not a fan. I would not... Uh, I, I would look forward to a rant cast on that. I would actually enjoy being a part of that rant cast, but here's my mini rant cast. That's not the way to go. That's not it, Chief. We do not want microtransactions in our board games. Write the quest book. I will write campaigns for days to keep us out of this behavior. <laughs> Can't stand it. Ribby just bought Descent on eBay, but the older version. Not the new one that takes a nap. Good. That's... Not all heroes wear capes. Uh, no traps in the hallway. Good. I have Descent 2nd Edition. I saw the newest edition. I thought, oh, cool. And then I, I learned that it takes an app, and I'm like, oh, no. The second edition, duh, can take an app, but that's optional. It's like HeroQuest's Zargon app, so. All right, well, we've got one door left to go in. Two, one, one room left to explore. One room left. Plus, think about software from 20 years ago. It's obsolete and won't run. Yeah, exactly. Another 20 years, the Mansions game might not even work. That's exactly why it all needs to be... It all needs to be pen and paper. Pen and paper, cards, screen. The system just needs to be completely... redone. Holy crap, the Witch Lord. We found our comrades, but the Witch Lord curses and free and disappears in a crowd of smoke. Uh, piles of treasure are in the corner of the room. I couldn't read all of that. There they are, though. They're actually appearing under the board. I would assume that they have to be present on the board graphically to be on the board functionally but the creator of the game probably has a, f a switch flipped to put them under the board so they don't show up on the board while the room is unexplored, but forgot to put the switch, uh, turn the switch to on whenever you do discover them. So that's okay. God, this is gonna suck. All right, um, crossbow at, at, at this skeleton. Um, and then he's gonna, he's gonna cast, I can't see him. Oh, I wish I could see him. Oh, I wish I could see him. Can I step here and cast Genie? Nope. Cannot do that. Cannot do that. He's fearsome. All right, we're gonna cast Courage on Happy Sneezy. And this dwarf is now going to be able to roll two extra attack die every turn. Now, where is my hero? Here's one of them. I uh, can't tell which one of these treasure piles are mine. Uh, that's fine. We're just going to grab both. And then... Pickle, son of Pickle, is going to walk right up next to the Barbarian. Apps as optional supplements. Yes, absolutely. A physical game needs to be able to function standalone. 100% agree. And that physical game, I mean, even better than an app in my opinion, is instructions on the cards. All of the WizKids, Dungeons & Dragons adventure games function that way. You have enemy AI on the card that tells you how they're going to respond to what you do. Ugh, that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. All right, Barbarian is going to need to equip all their stuff manually, aren't they? Yes. We've got a lot going on here. So, uh, plate armor. <clears throat> 
helmet. Shield. Long sword. And the first toolkit. Then we're going to give chainmail. Helmet. Crossbow. Shield. And then we're going to click back on pickle. And we're going to e put on the shield. Equip the crossbow. Put on the helmet. Put on the chainmail. Alright, he's got a helmet, shield, crossbow, and chainmail. Uh, what else? He's got his helmet, longsword, plate mail, shield. I still have chainmail and longsword and toolkit. So we'll give the second toolkit to Pickle. Pickle will equip the toolkit. And then oop, we've got uh, that second longsword. To give to Pickle. Reason being, we want Pickle to have a melee weapon. And I think we can go ahead and have him equip it now. And we can end our turn. That's it. This is about to be completely, completely bonkers, guys. One more step behind the dwarf to get a clear diagonal shot. I know. I know. It's too late now. So they're charging for quests separate from expansions? Yes. Because that's, that is what they're doing. Give him potions too. I couldn't. They didn't have any potions. You fools. You will meet your end. Wizard will stand here and diagonal attack the skeleton with the staff. That did nothing. Uh, equip the spirit blade, please. And first one down. Pickle. Second one down. Stab George. Third one down. That's it. Three skeletons down. Let's see what transpires this next turn. Damn it! Did I click the potion tab on the left? That one will allow me to... Yeah. Well, hold on. Excellent. Dwarf. You're just going to walk into the room. Now. Uh, Pickle, son of Pickle, does not have any items. And Stab George. Ah, uh, he does have items. You're right. You're right. He picked up all the items. So he's going to give... Defense Potion... One of the healing... One of the, oh, and the spell ring. The spell ring, absolutely. He's got to give him the spell ring. And we'll give him one of the... We'll give him the venom antidote. Now... Whose turn is it? Who did I just click on? Doesn't matter. We're going to attack the skeleton... And we're going to use one of the healing potions. Very good. Perfectly done. Bonk that skeleton. Kind of want to move forward. But I think I'm okay being trapped in this area. Can the wizard see anybody? No, it's not the wizard's turn. We're done. Uh, Elf does need to equip 
the... No, he doesn't. He doesn't need to equip squat. <clears throat> He's good to go. Stop hurting Pickle! I will not allow you to put pickles on your sandwich. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. Chaos Warriors incoming. All right, Ward Icon, get to it. Be safe. Train that newbie and thank you for your well wishes. We're going to get it done. Catch you in the VOD. I still only got him for one. Ugh. Diagonal attack. Yes! Pickle has taken out the Chaos Warrior. Excellently done. Attacked Skeleton. Oh, it did nothing. That's it, right? We can't do anything else. Yeah, we're done here. <clears throat> First Skeleton does nothing. Second Skeleton does nothing. Third Skeleton? Nothing. Fourth Skeleton? Nothing. Chaos Warrior. Oh. Thought that skeleton already moved. I guess not. <clears throat> That's fine with me. You punks. Excellently done. Pickle. Pickle, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Pickle? We're gonna... What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Pickle has... Happy Sneezy's got three. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> also, welcome to the stream, Ruckus Bringa. And thank you for dropping in. So only the newer expansion for the physical board game after Frozen Horror? Uh... <clears throat> we have... Mage of the Mirror coming up. Estimated January, February of next year. It's it's coming. It's pretty close. And then we know of a brand new expansion Avalon Hill has developed called Rise of the Dread Moon. And so far we don't know anything after that. But we're going to get probably more than that, I would guess. Hi, Lady Softpaw. Yes, my audio's off and I don't know why. Folks have told me, but I can't fix it now. Very annoying. Lurch Brick is less mean than the campaign book. That's not good to hear. Kind of seems like I would hate this quest. That being the case. All right, we need the elf to... Oh, put on chainmail. I haven't done that yet. Wow. Put on the crossbow. And... Let's go ahead and take out a skeleton. Didn't work. That's fine. Amadeus can cast something. Uh, not anything too helpful. Ooh, he can cast Fire of Wrath on the skeleton. Another skeleton down. This might be the death of Happy Sneezy. This might be his death. Oh, he's so close to death. So close. We're going to cast a genie on that Chaos Warrior. Oh my god, that did nothing. That did nothing. All right, well, that's terrible. Now I meant for charging quests separate from expansions. Will those newer expansions come with quests? Uh, no, okay, okay, I apologize. I caused a little bit of confusion. I was actually talking about uh, Mansions of Madness when I was talking about the microtransaction quests that they were charging for for the app. Mansions of Madness is doing that, not Hero Quest. Hero Quest's quests will continue to come with the expansions in physical form, and I do not personally anticipate them charging for quests through the Zargon app at all. That's a horrible thing to do. I don't think Avalon Hill would do it, period. So, I hope that that clears that up.
Uh, we're going to use... We're going we're gonna to re-equip the long sword. Attack the Chaos Warrior. He's still not dead. Barbarian. Diagonal attack Chaos Warrior. Now he's dead. Now we don't have anything to worry about. We've got two skeletons left, and we're going to kill him. We're going to bust them down. Bust them. I'm... I'm good. You guys are toast. You're toast. You are bones on bread. This is a done deal. Equipping the crossbow. Shooting. All done. We need to heal up. Ugh. Oh. Yes. Now. My elf has no heal. Oh, no, wait. It's because I ended my turn. That's it. That is that is it. We can now head to the staircase, uh, but I'm not going to do that until I've searched this room for treasure. Needs to happen. Absolutely needs to happen. We're going to end our turn. We can now leave at any time. But this, this room, I have to search for treasure. We found 50 gold coins. We'll end our turn. I'm going to have the elf now search for treasure. We found 20 gold coins. That's enough to buy us uh, almost three more daggers. So, yay! All of our gold coins are gone. They wiped us out. If you get one of the older versions of Mansions of Madness, you don't even have to worry about it. Just, it, it, it's all included with the book and everything. Just do not get the latest version. It'll say on the box if it requires the app or not, so you won't get, like, tricked into anything. They are open about it. It's just crappy is what it is. Okay, we're going to end our turn. Have him move out of the way. Have him cast... Uh, heal body on the dwarf. Don't don't understand why you did that. I don't understand why you went all the way over there to, at all. That was dumb. Don't do that again, please. Heal body. We need to cast heal body on happy Sneezy. Now he's healthy. I'm going to walk into this room and he's going to search for treasure. Now... He found 35 gold coins. I th think I'm happy. I don't know what kind of monster. Openly greedy is still greedy, yes. I am i don't say that to justify them at all. I'm just saying at least you'll be able to tell and you can avoid it. Because the less that stuff sells, the better. The, the, the stronger the message, don't charge extra money for quests. Single quests? That's so stupid. So dumb. We can homebrew stuff for Mansions of Madness, too. Uh, it would be a little harder. It's it's pretty tight with mechanics, and the scenarios are pretty intricately woven. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know of any other rooms that I would search for treasure, so I think I'm going to call it good here and leave the quest... We managed to win without dying. And that... That is quite an accomplishment. That was tough. I'm not gonna lie. That was a... That was difficulty hard. That took careful planning. If it was four different people in a room playing it, it would have been pretty magical and adventury and fun. But it would have been even harder if they weren't all working very closely together. That was a quest that would definitely encourage you to be meta. Ugh. We will give our 35 gold to the wizard. Keep it weird, everyone. Need to let the chickens out, feed the cat, wait the kids. Got a busy day. Get it done. Roll, roll skulls, sir on all of your objectives and have a fantastic rest of your day as well thank you for dropping in I'll see you next time ruckus bringa gotta go get ready to move good luck in your apartment moving 
I won't be streaming until Monday, but Monday we will be doing Quest 7 of Return of the Witch Lord, so please look forward to it. Drop in if you can. 9 Central to as late as 10.30 Central. Saw Frozen Horror and Rogue Air on the shelves yesterday in Forbidden Planet. That's awesome, GA. That's what we like to hear. Because it's retail. There's still folks who are scared. They're like, uh, uh, great, another limited release. It's like, no, them, those days are, those days are done. Those days are all done. There are no more limited releases. Save and quit. I'll be carefully searching for treasures the next time around if I can clear the dungeon out and then go back through uh, because I need I need more healing stuff without a doubt. But rather than subject you guys to continued audio video syncing being off, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here and I will see you again Monday. I'll have videos going up all weekend long. I'm going to try to record some shorts uh, to show off some hero quest homebrew heroes, but that's going to depend on. I I really would like to get the figurines done. I'm I'm working on some kit bash projects, so I would like to be able to show those off. I won't be able to have like skill cards made up for each one as I show them off, but I can at least put some skill cards in a program and uh, show them off that way. Yeah, I'll, I'll go find the template, the paint shop template for the skill cards that's been floating around, and I'll make my own for the heroes that I want to make, and I'll do shorts that way, because I think that would be a pretty cool thing, just a, a quick one-minute video detailing this hero that you could play as for your homebrew quests, and maybe, even if you don't use them as is, you can tweak the heroes, and you can build them more to your liking, so that they're not either too weak or too overpowered or however the case may be i might think it's a great idea you might think it needs a ton of work but anyways hey thank you jacer thank you for dropping in welcome i'm also going to be saving up for a webcam if any of you are on the patreon links always in the description below i'm going to take patron money and save up towards the world's first 4k 60 fps webcam which might help out with some of this type stuff. Uh, because I currently use DroidCam and my phone. I'm actually curious about something. Hold on. One second. Hold on. I, I'm froze, aren't I? That's okay. What about now? I bet I'm fixed now, aren't I? Did I fix my audio sync? I bet I did. I bet I fixed it. And oh man, if I fix it, I'm going to be so cheesed that I didn't figure out that earlier. Of course I fixed it. Thank you for the feedback. But geez, Louise. All I had to do was restart DroidCam. Bad. Bad app. Bad app. Uh, I'm glad I fixed it. Now I know how to do it in the future. And I can spend a little bit more time talking about HeroQuest without feeling bad about the audio video thing. That stuff brings me down. I, I know it's if it's fine to watch, it's fine to watch, but it makes me feel bad and I don't like doing it. Uh, HeroQuest shorts. I've got a bunch of stuff behind this green screen on the table. I'm actually, I don't mind showing you. Yeah. It's three copies of Dragon Strike. That's not for a flex. I went through and I actually purchased uh, a copy of Dragon Strike for myself way earlier. But the other two copies are a case of could I get them for cheap enough on eBay 
one copy I took out the boards so that I could put them with my Hero Quest master campaign system and use the boards for Hero Quest homebrew. And I also took out a number of the miniatures. I'm going to leave the cards and the doors and all the other components. I'm not going to use any of that stuff. Uh, but the boards and some of the minis, yes, the uh, Death Knights that are in, in Dragon Quest make awesome Draugr. And Draugr are mentioned in the Hero Quest novels, so I thought that's going to be an awesome addition to my undead army. So I got them in there. But the third copy of Dragon Quest, I'm actually planning on trading for elements of Dragon's Gate. Uh, Dark World Dragon's Gate, the Dragon's Gate expansion. This expansion has been extremely complicated for me to get a hold of, and the only way I can do it is by trading board games outright to somebody in a different country uh, for whom these games are not available. And I've, al I've already got the box and the board for Dragon's Gate, so now I just need to trade for only the miniatures and the cards and the dice and plastic pieces so that's what i'm currently working on i'm making sure that i have a master copy of dragon strike that has extra stuff in it then i'm working on getting him a copy that's going to have all the components as in as good of a condition as i can muster plus some extra pieces and then i'm going to end up with an empty box and a bunch of cards and i'm not going to be really sure what to do with all of that um i wish i could find a good home to give them to Because I, I have a terrible feeling about separating games to begin with. Like I don't I don't enjoy the the idea of, of taking a game apart and selling components. I don't know. Maybe I'll end up sending the box to somebody that I know will use it if they order something else from me. I I don't know yet. I don't know. Skyrim board game. I guess I've got to look at the Skyrim board game. I did a video today on the updates to the Elden Ring board game campaign. They've got more free stuff that they're offering for the core pledge and the all-in pledge. And that's stuff I'm going to try to keep up with. Because the Elden Ring board game is extremely exciting for me. I can't wait to have that. That's going to take up more space than I have on my board game shelf. I've said that about ten times. And every time I've managed to rearrange the games on the shelf and fit even more. But now I am approaching critical mass and I'm, I'm about done. I'll have to use a second shelf or build something new. Anyways... Saw a pre-order for Skyrim at one retailer. Might be able to find it. At, I'm going to look. I'm going to look. I'm going to spend a moment. You guys can hang out with me while I look up. Skyrim board game. The Elder Scrolls 5. Skyrim. This is probably it. The Ultimate Edition box set. Uh, while that's cool and all, that's not the, there's absolutely no pictures or anything on that. That's not going to work. Modifus. It was done by Modifus. That's what I need to look up. Modifus. Skyrim, probably just go check out the old Kickstarter page. Here we go. Here we go. Modifus, Mo Modifius. Modifius Entertainment. A resettable. Resettable. 
legacy experience that allows you to delve into Tamriel's past, battle foes, hoard treasures, and thwart a plot that threatens the whole of Skyrim. I see. I just want to see pictures, but there's not really... See more info on the game found page. I don't want to play that video. I just want to see the pictures. Hugely replayable, legacy-style, cooperative, and solo gameplay. That's nice. Two massive campaigns, six chapters of storyline, 90 to 120 minutes per chapter per playthrough, evolving quests and dungeons, full character progression and gear upgrades, free roam mode, five to eight players with add-on, two expansions add gameplay and options, Dawn expansion adds third campaign and vampires. From the Ashes campaign uh, expansion adds huge dragon and new gameplay. It came with or will come with 80 miniatures and 1400 cards. Look like they come with beautifully illustrated boxes. I appreciate that. 50 plus monetary and social stretch goals unlocked. Kind of like what I see of the minis. Solo, co-op, competitive, and free roam modes. There's a picture of the Draugr on the card. The minis look really cool. What do you get in each tier? I will never see the metal gold septums. No gameplay and deluxe, or no deluxe unlocks. No neoprene map. Nah, mat. And no miniatures upgrade set. Unless the deluxe tier is out in the wild. That was August? That wasn't that long ago. Man, I just missed out on that. I just missed out on this. Look at that awesome dragon statue. The Elder Scrolls Resin Hero Sets Bundle. It looks like this was done pretty well. Like this was done in a, in a good way. Can't choose any rewards. I doubt I'll ever be able to find or have the inclination to spend money on the, um, the exclusively locked rewards but this looks pretty cool i'm not a fan of the map on the board but that's okay i still think it would be really cool to have i actually think that would be really really cool to have ah thanks elviler my wallet thanks you okay i think that's gonna be it for me for now uh, glad we could check that stuff out together. Thank you guys for dropping in and watching the stream. I really appreciate your kind attention and your kind donations. And those will be applied towards my next goals for the channel, which include this new webcam. Sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry for. Plus, I'm sure one, one of these days I'll, I'll be able to return the favor <laughs> if I haven't already with my Elden Ring videos. If you, uh, if you love the video game, the board game can be a hard, it, it, it's hard to pass up, pass, hard to, to ignore. <sighs> but that's it for me for now. I'll see you guys again. Monday live and throughout the rest of the weekend, not live. So please have fantastic rests of your collective days. Be safe and see you next time. Bye for now. I need to pick some more music for my thank you for watching window. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick.
figure I could grab some music. We'll do Parting Glass. So now you can enjoy the music of the Parting Glass. All right. Raid? Raid? How do I raid? I actually don't know how to raid. Uh, hold on. I know that's a Twitch thing. Let me get on Twitch. Hold on. Uh, you're right. I should be raiding with my Twitch chatters. Let's see. He had a quest. There's nobody playing now. Board game. Nobody's on right now, I think. What about uh, RPG? Oh, Elden Ring? Elden Ring. There we go. There we go. Somebody is playing Elden Ring. Elden Ring All Remembrances No Hit Runs. So you can see somebody... Absolutely no lizard man, totally human. You could see somebody playing Elden Ring like a pro. Now I gotta figure out how to do this. He's already got 868 people watching. Raid, 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 raid. I don't know how to raid. How do I raid? Where's my channel? Maybe I'm not allowed to raid. Maybe I'm not allowed to raid. Be quiet, Echo Ash. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't actually know how to do it. Hmm. Had a raid on Twitch. Type slash raid. Followed by the name of the channel you wish to raid. Okay. So... We'll raid this guy and maybe he'll he'll return the favor sometime. I don't know if those guys are on. This channel is intended for mature audiences, so this is not a reflection of my taste or my channel. I just searched for Elden Ring because I highly enjoy the subject matter. So, there we go. We're gonna raid. Bye for now.
too? My god, welcome back as well. What is going on today, huh? Now that I the money that air I have I had spent it in good company and all of the harm I have ever done Alas it was to none but me And all I've done for one Darwin to memory now I can recall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy. So fill to me the parting glass and drink a health whatever befalls. Then gently rise and softly call. Good night and joy be to Sorry for my going away And all the sweethearts that e'er I had They wish me one more day to stay But since it fell into my lot That I should rise and you should not I'll gently rise and softly call Good night and joy